build a huge town. This town is giant. We got buildings, we got banks, we got more banks. Problem is, we ain't got people. I built a town with no one in it. And now we're offering everybody a complimentary 10 pesos to come and stand around the town to make it look like there's people here. I don't know why I built this town, I just wanted to do it. And now we got an empty town with no goddamn people in it. So come on down to my big old big town and stand around and make it look like there's people here. Cause my dad is disappointed. My dad is so disappointed in me. He saw me build this town and he said, that town's never gonna have people in it. And he was right. There's no people in this town. Please come here and stand around my town so when I wheel my dad in his wheelchair, he would say, oh wow, wait, there actually are people in this town. You didn't waste your life. Please come to my town. Oh, man. Life is tough these days, man, let me tell you. Why do you say that? What, 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 what do you got going on? I found out the hard way that you were uh, cheating. Uh, my w girlfriend was uh, cheating having sex with you. Yeah. Okay. I'll see myself out of this conversation. No, 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 no don't go. Don't go. I want to talk to you about this. What, what, what? Wait, what, what is there to talk about? I, I, I like it. What do you mean you like it? I like it when you sleep with my girlfriend. Like, uh, like in a fetish way? Like a, uh, cuckold? No. I think it's funny. What do you mean? What do you mean you think it's funny? I, I, what, what's funny about that? It, it, I mean, it's, it's like a betrayal of your trust. Did your wife betray you? Your best friend betrayed Don't you? Don't you see? That betrayal is the next kind of comedy. What do you... The, what the fuck does that mean? What, what the fuck are you talking about? I'm starting a comedy troupe called Betrayal. And it's, um, we do really bad things to each other. Here, just sleep with my girlfriend. Watch. Okay, we'll see how this goes. Oh, hey, honey, how's it going? Um, it's going okay. Uh, I have one small request. Yeah, what is it? I want you to sleep with Mike. Uh, I've never done that. Shut up. I know you've slept with him. This has been cleared. Yeah, it's been cleared. We talked about it. Oh, okay. And you want me to have sex with him? Yeah, I, I actually do. Like like a cuckold thing? No, it's for comedy's sake. I don't get it. L look at it this way. Comedy has been explored every which way. People have done funny jokes. They've done ironic jokes. I want to do betrayal jokes. Yeah, he, he was going on about this. I didn't really get it. Um, so you want me to betray you and that's funny. Yeah, we're getting desperate for content. I mean, I'm not opposed to having sex. I, I mean, I liked it when we did it before. I mean, yeah, you're way better than him. Okay, um, that just hurts, actually. It really doesn't seem like you're gonna think this is funny. You haven't laughed once this whole conversation. Oh no, I'm gonna think this is funny. What the fuck are you- <laughs> Kiss my girlfriend, Mike. What? Kiss her on the mouth. Uh, okay, remember you're condoning it. I mean, okay, well, just one little kiss. <laughs> okay, what the- <laughs> You don't laugh like that? Come on, you're being really weird, Tom. What is this? When you're laughing, it, it doesn't feel like you're actually finding this funny. You just... Now have sex with her. This is really uncomfortable. I mean, I, I like having sex with Mike most times, but this is just weird. Weird like comedy is weird? Like jokes are weird? Um, this is fucking really weird and really drawn out. Yeah, I mean... It doesn't seem like something that people are going to want to watch. Why are we putting this on TV? Mike, have sex with Jenny now. Uh, okay. Okay. Uh, 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 I'm having sex. Uh, 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 oh, Mike, uh, you're so good. Sex noise. Uh, 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 what are you, what, what is that? That's not how you laugh. <laughs> yeah, what the fuck? That, what is that? That's not how you laugh. This is how I laugh now. It's funny. <laughs> <laughs> this is the this is uh the end of the first episode. This is uh Space Friends. Thanks for watching. <laughs>
We have with us today the star of the new film Turtle Fuckers, uh, Jake Turtlefucker. <laughs> Sorry, is that your real name? Oh yeah, yeah. I, uh, <laughs> coincidence that I had that name before I got the part in this movie, but yeah, I'm the star of the Turtle Fuckers film. Yeah, that's really incredible. Uh, this this film is really turning a lot of eyes. A lot of people are really into it. It's it's winning a lot of awards. How do you feel about all that? I mean, honestly, for me, I mostly just was excited to fuck the turtles. You just wanted to fuck the turtles, huh? And it wasn't even about the money or the fame for you. That's right. It was only about fucking the turtles. Were the turtles okay with being fucked? Oh my god, yeah. I, I added in my contract. I don't want to fuck any turtles that don't want to get fucked. Hey, That's... is this the guy that fucked the turtles? Get him! Get him! No, oh, no. oh fuck. I didn't realize there were people who were mad at me for this. Uh, I'm gonna get the hell out of here so I don't get killed. And there you have it. Uh, Jake Turtlefucker has just left the building. Um, it looks like he's getting killed. And that's actually fantastic news because uh, Jake is part of the religion where he believes that when you die, you pass on and you uh, go to the realm of pixie dust and fairy lands where everything's happy and nice and you can fuck all the turtles you want. It's a religious thing! You know, it sounds like it's a really the best of all worlds for him now that he's dead and he gets Hold to... On. I gotta, I gotta go. I, I'll see you later. Jesus Christ, don't let screaming guys into the set anymore. Tonight on The Corpulent Gentleman. I do not recall <laughs> being at the scene of that accident. And quite frankly, I think it is uh, just an attack on uh, a free speech for Corpulent Gentleman. I can't wait to see what allegations are in store for me next time. I'm in a lot of trouble now. Oh, ho, ho, no. I've booked all my dates for the same evening. Can I get some order? Can I get a side of order with this law? <laughs> How is a corpulent gentleman such as myself gonna get out of this one? <laughs> Does anybody have a lighter for my three cigars? <laughs> oh, oh, oh. I'll be right back. I gotta take a shit. <laughs> <sighs> Okay. Ah! Oh, they keep, oh, they keep shocking me because that's what we sell here, our shock rods. And, and they made me run a full mile before we, we could start to shoot. Ah! The, oh, the, okay, so we have the best shock rods, the most powerful, awful shock rods. Ah! That fucking shock you really bad. If you need to shock somebody or shock anyone else or shock yourself, if that's the thing, you, you, you gotta just come to us and like, oh, god damn. Oh, fuck. Oh, ah, I'm gonna fuck. Okay, all right. So uh, uh, just go to us and we'll, we'll go fill your shock rod needs. Oh, okay, j j just re check us out at www.shockcollaralienprotectionoffensive making sure that people won't hurt you dot com. Oh, if you, if you want to have prisoners. Oh, no, I mean, if you want to have guests who are voluntarily there, that's what you, you go to that website. Okay, see ya. Next week, on Alien Channel 52, the Jumble Heist. They're gonna jumble around and heist things, and you're gonna see them jumble around, and it's, and oh my god, you're gonna watch a bunch of jumbly heist people. And these aliens don't give a fuck about your stuff. They're gonna jumble right into your room and heist everything. And that's coming up this Sunday or whatever day I said on the Alien Channel. Channel 50 whatever I said, or 52 I think I said. Oh man. What's going on, Papo? I, 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 I'm just a tiny little Papo boy, you know? I'm, I'm a tiny little guy. I know, but like, from what I'm seeing, you look like your shoes are on backwards, you, your t-shirt's on back, you, what are you doing? You're doing the crisscross thing? Is that from uh, the human race thing that we're No, all... no, it's not, it's not, it's not the crisscross from Atlanta, Georgia thing at all. I'm just trying, trying, I'm trying to figure out my life. All right, okay, stop wasting my time. We are here to advertise shirts, ties, suits. We guarantee it, you're gonna look good. Oh, uh, ow, ow, my shoes are on, ow, my shoes are on backwards. Yeah, we guarantee your suit will be on not backwards. All right, thank you so much. That's our commercial. Mm. 
Ancient secrets revealed! Ancient secrets revealed! Ancient secrets revealed! They're secrets, and they're ancient. And we're gonna reveal them! Just, just watch! Doors were invented in my backyard, but don't tell anyone. It's a secret. And here's another ancient secret. Hey, actually, actually, hold on. You uh, <laughs> can't reveal that secret. Oh, not even this secret? No, I'm sorry, not that one, no. Come on, don't you want to just look at it for a second? I already know it. You just can't tell the people watching. Um, sorry, we gotta, we gotta cut this short. Come on, man, I only got two secrets. Don't tell that one either. Bye-bye. Bye, love you. Are you tired of boogers clogging up your nose? Well, don't do it anymore. Get spaghetti in there instead. That's right, spaghetti nose. Why put spaghetti in your nose, people say. Why, why, why? Here to demonstrate spaghetti nose, Susan. Uh, it, it, uh, it's very painful. It feels really bad and it, I like, my boogers aren't that much of a problem. Thank you. Thank you for that. You have ruined our <laughs> public image. We are not affiliated with Noodle Nose. Noodle Nose are a bunch of f***s. They took our ideas. Those f***s. Spaghetti Nose. Have you ever had this happen to you? Help. Help me. Help me. Help me, please. Help. Ow. Ow, help me, help me, ah, uh, oh, 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 ow, oh, 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 Well, never again, because now we have the brand new this. Oh, 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 okay, oh, 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 well, oh, well, okay, well, now, well, now I sorta, now I can, now I can kinda see. And that's what you'll see when you buy this for yourself. And you can never have to deal with this. Oh, 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 okay, oh, oh, whoa, whoa, oh, hold on. Wait a second, get out of here, hold, oh, oh, ever again. I'm home. Oh, oh, wonderful, you're home. I've been, w I, look at, the dinner's cold I prepared for us. Where were you? I was just doing smuffle guffins. You know, smuffle gu like just regular old plain smuffle guffins. You knew this. I don't think I could stay married to somebody who just blatantly does smuffle guffins. Well, I don't know what to tell you. I am a smuffle guffin from life to death. I will be a smuffle guffin person all the time and that's why are we getting a divorce because that's where the draw that's where I draw the line all right listen we are getting a divorce and that's why you gotta watch alien channel 5102 the newest reality show about us getting a divorce because she's into smuffle guffins and I'm trying to cook a delicious dinner for the two of us and she's not here and it gets cold because she's out fucking smuffle guffin Lynn. check it out it's very entertaining we'll see you there Hey, uh, my name is Thomas Snitchdell, and I just want to say I didn't kidnap that alien baby. The trial wasn't publicized, it wasn't on air, like nobody saw it. I, I was I was pronounced innocent, but nobody really saw it, so I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm buying these commercials to just make sure everyone knows I did not kidnap the alien baby. I did not do it. Uh, it was, it was, uh, confirmed in the court of alien law, and, uh, that's it, so, um, all right. Hey, hey, listen here, I want you to meet my son. Hey, son, come out here. Hey, what's up? Yeah, I want you to meet, uh, I want you to meet him, he's, uh, looking for a wife. Yeah, I really need a wife. Yeah, so he's five foot two, mm -hmm. 500 pounds, mm -hmm. wears diapers, mm -hmm. And he's ready to marry. I'm ready to marry right now. Okay. It's been a long time since I've done anything with anyone, and I really want someone. Okay, that's it. See you guys. Bye. Oh, fuck, we forgot to oh, do wait. contact. Is there people. a number? Oh, no. Uh, no. Uh, wait, we didn't oh, get uh, No, we're good. Okay. Okay. Bye, right, guys. Bye. Hi! 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 How are you doing? Hi! Are you, are you talking to me? Yeah, come closer. Come over here. Okay. Hey, hey, how you doing? Uh, Sorry, why did you want to talk to me? Because I think you're ugly. 
Oh, Jesus. Why did you, out of nowhere, you just told a stranger you think he's ugly? Okay, bye! Oh, bye! No, no! No, go away! Bye, you bye! Bye! Go! No, go! Stop yelling! Go. You need to come back! Go! You go away! You called me ugly! <laughs> Thanks for watching! You look ugly! Bye! Hello citizens, I'm Blim City Magistrate Clug Nugman and I have heard your concerns. Murder rates are on the rise, the city's water supply has clearly been poisoned again by Gary the Poisoner, and the mandatory sexual repression chips that we put in our elderly citizens have once again backfired, this time making them far, far hornier than ever. However, there's something plaguing our city far worse than any of those issues. Cold hard drugs. These figures don't lie. However, things don't have to be this way. As chancellor, under my five-year plan, all drugs will be eradicated. And that's the Clug Nugman promise. Thanks to our new Keep Blim City Clean initiative, we've managed to keep drugs like Fergals and Space Meth out of the hands of our extremely horny geriatrics. No criminal organizations like the G3 cartel have been able to sow their evil seeds in our fair city. For now, remember, we're all in this together. No matter how many surveillance drones we purchase, we simply cannot be everywhere at once, which is why we need you to tell us if you see anything suspicious. Remember our catchy slogan, if you see something, please quickly report it to one of many service representatives stationed all across town. Every report you file against your family and neighbors earns you clug bucks, which can be exchanged for fabulous prizes. So keep an eye out. Only you can help us build a better, safer blim.